Management of Anti-Tubercular Drug-Induced Hepatotoxicity Introduction Tuberculosis TB has become an enormous problem and the most effective control method is treatment with anti-tuberculosis drugs. However, hepatotoxicity from the first line of anti-tuberculosis drugs such as isoniazid, INH, rifampicin, RMP and pyrazinamide, PZA may limit their use and often can lead to interruption of the therapy. Two of these four agents, namely isoniazid and pyrazinamide, are major hepatotoxins. Meanwhile, rifampicin is a powerful enzyme, cytochrome P450 inducer, which may increase the metabolism of isoniazid, thereby increasing the formation of hepatotoxic metabolite of isoniazid. The association of several anti-tubercular drugs has several benefits, such as prevention against drug resistance, but at the same time it adds the risk of hepatotoxicity of individual drugs. Management of Hepatotoxicity Hepatotoxicity is a common complication of anti-tuberculosis therapy that ranges from an asymptomatic elevation of serum transmenases to hepatic failure requiring liver transplantation. As a result, during diagnosis, liver biochemical tests alone are often used to diagnose drug-induced liver injury DILI, and should be discouraged. While it is prudent to discontinue the hepatotoxic drugs, a search for an alternative cause such as acute viral hepatitis A to E should be undertaken before a diagnosis of DILI. Various guidelines for the management of DILI have been propounded by the American Thoracic Society ATS, the British Thoracic Society BTS, the World Health Organization WHO and the International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease. There are minor variations among these guidelines which include the necessity or not of liver biochemical tests. No studies are validating the utility of liver biochemical tests in the prevention of DILI or assessing its severity. Such monitoring is often seen as inconvenient, expensive and inefficient by both patients and doctors. Thus, the monitoring recommendations are poorly followed. However, monitoring with liver tests is recommended in the following groups. Patients who consume alcohol, individuals with chronic hepatitis B or C, those on concomitant hepatotoxic drugs who have elevated baseline transmenase levels, suffer from underlying liver disease and those with HIV. After the diagnosis of DILI, the three hepatotoxic drugs, namely isoniazid INH, rifampicin RMP and pyrazinamide PZA are to be withheld immediately. Depending upon the urgency of the underlying tuberculosis condition, second-line drugs such as streptomycin or amikacin, ciprofloxacin or Ofloxacin may be initiated till such time the liver tests return to normal or jaundice abates or the transmenases drops to less than two times ULN. Alternatively, newer drugs such as moxifloxacin may be used instead of the first-line drugs. Although most cases may resolve with the omission of the offending drugs, unfortunately a few cases will continue to progress despite drug withdrawal.